in this machine learning class we will see the k mediates algorithm from partitioning method that will come under fifth unit unsupervised learning and in today's class we will see uh, the representative object based technique and the partitioning around mediates that is palm algorithm and the reassignment of points to different clusters now first let us see the definition of k mediates algorithm it is an unsupervised machine learning method with unlabeled data to be clustered and it is an improved version of k means algorithm and mainly designed to deal with outlier data sensitivity so the disadvantage of k means algorithm is it is very much sensitive to outliers okay that is k means algorithm but to overcome that method we can use this k mediate okay k mediate here the data points are used as cell points instead of mean value here we can use the data point that is the center point is a uh, center of the cluster okay so this is the difference between k means algorithm and k mediate algorithm right and when compared to other partitioning algorithms this k mediate algorithm is very simple fast and easy to implement and it considers k representative data points from existing points in the data set as center of the cluster for example suppose if we are having uh, four clusters four clusters and it will assign randomly four data points as a center of cluster okay in, instead of uh, computing the mean it will assign the data point as the center and it then assigns the data points according to the distance from these centers from the k clusters okay and now we need to compute the uh, sum of squared error that is ssk here ssa is equal to sum of i equal to 1 to k and x belongs to ci okay so this ci is nothing but cluster number of cluster and this k is nothing but the data points right and distance of o i comma x whole square here this o is the representative point or object of the cluster okay object of the cluster c for example this point so for every iteration the center point will get changed so the iteration will get repeated until there is no change in the center point in all the clusters uh, here the k mediated uh, groups n objects in k clusters by minimizing ssk okay that means k number of clusters there in the k number of clusters n objects will be grouped n objects will be grouped okay because it uses mediates from actual representative of data point the data point will be used as a center point here and this is less influenced by outliers in the data suppose if outliers are here that does not affect the center point of cluster okay the outliers less influence on the data center point hence it is very much powerful when compared to k mean k means algorithm and one of the popular and the practical implementation of k mediated is the partitioning around mediated algorithm that is palm algorithm and next let us see this uh, palm algorithm there are six steps the first one is randomly choose k points in the data set as initial representative points okay so for example if we are having four clusters then randomly we select four data points as a representative points and step 2 as in each of the remaining point to the cluster as the nearest representative point if the point is here then we can assign this point into this cluster if it is here then this point will uh, goes to this cluster okay likewise and randomly select a non representative point that is o or non representative point in each cluster see likewise and swap the representative point o i and non representative point o r and compute the new ssv that is sum of squared error after swapping okay suppose if in this cluster 
between these two, which one is the center, we need to compute, then that will assign as the representative point, right? And if new SSE new is less than SSE old, then swap OI with OR. Okay, that is the sum of square error new is very less, then we can uh, swap the representative point. And uh, the new set of K representative points. And step six is refine K clusters on the basis of nearest representative point. Okay, and the steps uh, two to step, step six will be repeated until there is no swapping of representative points okay in all the clusters this uh, palm algorithm replaces the current representative object with non representative object okay and check if improved in quality of clustering or not okay if the quality of clustering is improved then the algorithm will continues otherwise if there is no change then the algorithm will get terminated okay so in this iterative process all possible replacement are attempted until quality of cluster is no longer improved and if object 1 to object k are the current set of representative object or leaders of the center okay and that is a non representative object or okay then to determine whether or that is the non representative object is good to uh, replacement that is oj that should be one less than or equal to j less than or equal to k okay and the distance of each object x is calculated from the nearest meter okay that is from the set of o1 to ok and sse is calculated accordingly okay now what we are going to do Currently, we are having a set of representative or non-representative objects and we need to find whether the, there is a need of a replacement or not. If the non-representative object is good enough to replace, then we need to replace the non-representative as the current representative object. The new point PI, which belongs to a cluster with mid and OJ plus 1 okay oj plus 1 in the first iteration but after oj was replaced by or okay so now or is replaced to non representative object okay then this one it was found that pi is nearest to new random mirror now it gets assigned to this okay now the pi is near to this point not this point Okay, this distance is more and this distance is less. Now, the PI will be reassigned to this new point. Okay, in this way, the cluster will refine after each meter, uh, which is replaced with the new non representative meter. Okay, so previously the PI belongs to this particular cluster. Okay, after that, the reassignment of the new. Uh, representative object then the pi will be assigned to this particular cluster because the distance is very less here okay and each time the replacement is done and the sse that is sum of squared error based on new media is calculated right if difference between sse before and after the swap which indicates whether or not the replacement improving the quality of clustering by bringing the most similar points together so for every iteration the points will be moved to one cluster to another cluster and finally there is no replacement of center medard okay that is there is no change of center medard or data points movement to different clusters then we will stop the iteration the K-Medard algorithm provides an effective way to eliminate the noise or outliers in the data set. Okay. By using K-Medard, we can easily identify the outliers and we can easily remove those outliers from our computation. And 
the complexity of each iteration in k mediated algorithm is order of k of n minus k whole square okay for large value of n n means the number of data points and k means number of clusters okay this calculation become much costlier than that of k means algorithm okay if the number of data points and number of clusters are high then the complexity will be very high when compared to k means algorithm uh, so far we have seen the k mediated algorithm from partitioning method and we have seen the definition and uh, palm algorithm that is partitioning around mediated algorithm after that the palm algorithm for reassignment of points from different clusters right and uh, we understand that how mediated that is k mediated algorithm is different from k means algorithm isn't it so in the next class we will see another important topic from 50 unit thank you